All right. All right. Good morning, everybody. Today is good morning, uh, Rabbi. Today is Daphne Tess. So uh, we were discussing yesterday about Megillus Tainus. Megillus Tainus was was uh, your test. Oh, test. You test them at Alice. So we were discussing yesterday. Oh, we're, not, we're not going yet. We were discussing yesterday um, regarding those times, whether it was the Vatel or not. So it was, because times was written around the time of the, the Tanaim, and it was a collective of, of different days where the, where the Jews were saved, and they made these days are holidays. These days are holidays, meaning that they, you can't have a, a public fast on that day. They, 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 they didn't do Hasbedim. So we want to figure out whether after the base meters was destroyed, whether it was, uh, the, you know, they were still around. So we try to bring proofs that I, even after the Khurban or after, you know, by, you know, by region was destroyed, uh, and whether it was, you know, it was, it, you know, it was, it was still, uh, you know, it was still, um, you know, going on. So we answered, we had a case of uh, when, when they wanted to add, add, add a day afterwards, right? They wanted to add a day afterwards. So he says, what well, if, the old ones are about to get a new day. So he said, no, that was Bizman Achamai Eskina. We said Bizman Shabbat Beis Hamidosh Kayo. So but now, first word, top line in Yud Testament Al. The Tepek Leit, the Havi Leit, Yom Shin, the Herag, Bo, Gedali, Ben Achikam. So we said yesterday that the third of Tishrei was celebrated. Why? Because it was the day where they stopped writing Hashem's name on Shtaros that were being thrown in the garbage. So it was a day of celebration because Hashem's name was no longer going to be, you know, thrown in the garbage. So why don't they say, well, if it's during this month, basically, just Kaya, we, the Pusik said, and those days, so Ravid, so Khamishi, those days will be Lasas and the Simcha, will be days of happiness. We said, when's days of happiness? When the base of Mijas Kayam. So if it was during the base of Mijas Kayam, so Gimel Tishrei was already a day of celebration, right? It was, it was you know, the, 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 you know because of the base of Mijas Kayam. The table of David, Yoshna Rabbi Gedai, Ben Achikam. So I'm a rab, like Nitzuka El Asr, Eshelafanov. No, because when the days that were were created as holidays, we also said the day before and the day after were were, were 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 also holidays. So therefore, it came to the second of Tishrei to also make that forbidden. Like you know, we don't do like Tachman the day before. So ah, so we'll say. So it's after Rosh Chodesh, right? Rosh Chodesh is treated similar to Rosh Hashanah. It's treated as a as a yantif, and should be the day before the day afterwards. Okay, so over here it's assuming it's 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 going by when it was one day, right? One day, just the first of the year. So Rosh Chodesh deraisa, with the raisa lo baichisa. Since Rosh Chodesh or Rosh Hashanah is deraisa, it's a moi deraisa. So therefore, it does not need a chizuk. In other words, it does need extra strengthening. Where all of a sudden you have to forbid the day before and the day afterwards, right? Um, because it's the aunt of people will, uh, will, will naturally respect it. It doesn't need chizuk, but something which was made by a takana, right? The third, now we need to go ahead and strengthen the third of Tishrei by, by having a day four, a, a, a day two, a day four. The time of the Hayamim, Ha'elak, Sunim, Megillus, Tainas. These days are in Megillus, Tainas, Asurim, Ben, Yilusunim, Ben, Yilachareim. It's forbidden. Um, uh, 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 has paid them or uh, fast, uh, whether it's the day before or after. And Shabbos of Yom Tavim, Hey Masrim, the Tnei Bacharim Mutar. However, when it comes to Shabbos and Yantiv, so they are Asr, but before them and after them are Mutar. And Ma Hefesh Ben Zelazel. So, what's the difference between these days that are written in Megillah's Tainus versus Shabbos and Yantiv? So, Halu Divrei Torah, Vein Divrei Torah, Tzirim Chizuk. These are Divrei Torah, they're Midoraisa, and therefore they don't need Chizuk. And Halu Divrei Sofer, Vein Divrei Sofer, Vein Tzirim Chizuk. These are Divrei Sofer and require Chizuk. I mean, I can say they don't say Tachron on Friday and Sunday for that read because Shabbos kind of. Well, the Friday, I mean, what are you in the morning? Do with the yard side. Oh, every Friday. They, no, they say the morning. Oh, I, I don't know. Two hours. They never do Mincha. I know they don't do Mincha. They never They never do Mincha. Well, Mincha, they don't do because they don't do so late. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what the McCor is, but there's. You not know, their chill. Yeah. Um, so the I would typically the have of the Yom Shalifne, Yom Shinarak, Bala Gadai Ben Achika. Well, still, nevertheless, why don't you say, okay, well, it, it, say the third, we don't have to establish a new date to, to celebrate that there was no longer thrown away, you know, the Shem Hashem and the Shtaros. Why don't you say it's the day before when Gedalia was killed? And since Basin Mishas Kayim, it's now a Yom Simcha. So say it's the day before that. So the second and fourth should be covered by, by being the, the, the Yontif of Gedalia. So Ravashi, Gedalia Ben Achika, Divrei Kabalu. 
Now that's in the category of divrei kabbalah. The divrei kabbalah, the divrei Torah, and 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 divrei kabbalah, some of the divrei Torah in terms of regarding a chizuk that it does not require chizuk. So since it doesn't require chizuk, therefore the second would have been a uh, 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 mutter to go ahead and have a, a, a fast. But since you go ahead and they establish a, a yontif, so therefore the days, uh, the second and the fourth, were forbidden for fast or hesped. So Mesiv Rav Tuvi Bar Masna said another question, another date. Be'asvim v'timani be asas b'shirasa tavasa liyudai on the twenty eighth of the twenty eighth of Adar, right? Be asas, right? So the twenty eighth of Adar. So that was a date. Right, but other kind of migas tainus. Right, okay. So it was the twenty eighth of Adar. So that was the day when there was good. There was a good uh, 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 news, right, for the Jews, and therefore it was a day of celebration. Delo you do in Marisa, and that was the day that they basically were not separated from the Torah. And that was a day where basically they were reunited with the Torah. What do you mean? Shegaz and Malchus Gazei Rosh Lo Yaskub Torah. That they were Gazer Malchus. The Romans were Gazer Malchus. They should be Gazer Torah. But Shalom Yimolas Benayim also also did not give bris to their sons. The Shichal of Shabbos and be Mechal of Shabbos. Ma'aseh Yehuda ben Shemua. What did Yehuda ben Shemua do? The Chavei Rav and his and his friends. Halchu v'nat lo Eitza mimi Teranisa Achas. They went to some the uh, Chashav uh, uh, lady. Right, some some noble woman that uh, she called Gedolei Romei Mitzun Esla. They used to, to go to her. I guess she was, you know, the upper echelon. You know, uh, oh, and, no, I, I think I I don't think it was uh, it's nos. I think uh, it doesn't say it doesn't uh, not masha. But they would go there. You know, it was uh, she was very um, uh, I don't know. distinguished. Yeah, distinguished lady. Right. I'm trying to think of like not like the queen, but like uh, someone who was like regal. Okay. Matriarch. Yeah. Same word, matriarch. Hello, right. Clinton. No, I'm just trying to give an example, you know, like these older. All right, anyway, fine. Sophia Loren, or I don't know, who knows. Bye. So, Amr Lahem, Bo. I have no I was trying to think like an older, I don't know, like it was like millions, like hundreds of millions, and like, like yeah. So, Amr yeah, Oprah, right about the Oprah. So, Amr Lahem, so she told him, Bo, they've given a belayla, go ahead and, and basically congregate outside at night. The helpful, they've legal belayla, they went out, they congregated in the streets at night. Amru, they said, Ishamai, uh, Ishamai, and Lachichem, and So he said, you know, uh, so, you know, by, by God, right? We're not brothers, right? We're not the son of one father, we're also not the son of the same mother, so man, he should name him, he called him, he called him, he called why are we different? Why are you sing us out that you have gzeras upon us? Obitlam, and they say, okay, they're right, and they're mavato the gzera of aisa hayom asu yantef, and that day they made a yantef. Now we talk about the megillas tainus, and if you think megillas tainus was over, right? In other words, it was mavato. They no longer do that because after the churban they stopped with megillas tainus and stopped with new holidays. So kamei sabato achrinaisa mosaf. What? So after Megillus Tainus, so those are all Bata, but they're, gonna, they're the, the old ones, there are some of Bata, they're going to issue new ones, right? Before you issue new ones, you should have the old ones, you know, still apply. And the Vachit Tame, you're going to say, how can I be the Zan Shabbat and Mijus Kayim? If you're going to go, give the same Tame, so it's during the Zan Shabbat and Mijus Kayim. Well, Rabbi Yehuda ben Shemua, Tamido Shoran Meir. So Rabbi Yehuda ben Shemua, which is the Maisa, what occurred during his days, and he was a Talmud of Rabbi Meir. Rabbi Meir, Basar, Hachi, Havi. And Rabbi Meir was basically, he was a, a number of generations. He was Hamad of Rabbi Kiva, Rabbi Yechbazak. So he came after the uh, the Churban Bais, the Tanah and the Mishnah, Klis, Chuchis, Shaniklu, Veitim, the Teich, and So if you have a, a glass, right, a, a glass uh, vessel, and there was a hole in it, and then they filled it basically with lead to fill it up to make it now a Kli again where it can hold water and liquid. So I'm Rabbi Shemigamil. So said Rabbi Shemigamil, Yehuda ben Shemua, Shemitame, Mishim Rabbi Meir. Says Yudav and Shemua, he it hold it's metame. Now it's now a kli again. It's now subject to tuma because it's it's a full vessel. And he said that in the name of his Rebbe Remeir. So you see that uh, Yudav and Shemua was the Talmud Remeir who came clearly after the uh, after the Chorim Bayis. The Chorim Remeir Matarin. No, the Chorim were arguing. They said no, it's tower. Once it's broken, you can't go ahead and make it into a kli again. It's Matarin. So, uh, anyways, but that was the, the point was not the machloek. the point was that he was a Talmud of Rabbi Meir who was at the Churban Bayis. So you see that this date was established after Churban Bayis. So the Bayis is really when it comes to Megillah's Tainus, whether it's Mefatzer or not, Tanahi, it's a machloek tonight. 
Detanya, we learn in a brisa. It says, "Hayam la ilak to be megillas tainas." So these days, everyone megillas tainas. Bein bismanche beis midish kaim. Bein bismanche in a bein shein ha beis midish kaim. Whether the beis midish is standing or not, a surin they are usher for for hespedim or 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 fasting. Diver emet pin a remeir and Rabbi Yosi emet bismanche beis midish kaim a surin. When the beis midish is kaim, then these days are still observed as as these you know as holidays. Mipnei shesimcha. And ain't based on Mikdash Kayim, however, basically this is not around anymore. Then we taught them, then they are because they're basically they're, they're mourning because you know they're mourning, and therefore we don't add, you know, the Jews are in mourning, and therefore we don't add other holidays. The Hilchasa, a bottle of Hilchasa, a bottle of. And Akhle is not to be confusing, but it's it's nullified and it's not nullified. So, I, Kashi Hilchasa, what are you talking about? How could you be both, right? So, like Kashi Khan. When it comes to Hanukkah Purim, that is La Mavatl. Those we still observe. When it comes to the other holidays, those have been Mavatl. Fine. Now we discussed, we said, the Mishnah stated yesterday, which was not the second Mishnah of the Masechah, right? I think it was the third one, right? So we said that for six different uh, uh, months, we sent out messengers to the, uh, the outlying communities, uh, to tell them when um, uh, when Rosh Chodesh was, whether it was the, on the thirtieth day or the thirty first day, right? Whether the previous month was Malir Chaser, right? Whether it was twenty nine days or thirty days, and then the next day was Rosh Chodesh. So we set out for certain uh, uh, holidays because of what falls out during those months, in order uh, so that they celebrate those days on the right days. So we said, El Mipnei Rosh Hashanah, the Altish and Bnei Tzakanas Hamuados, and El they sent out because people have to know when how, um, when El started. In order that they can count the amount of days, the 30th mm-hmm. day will be Rosh Hashanah. And they also send out Tishrei, right, to tell them when uh, Sukkot and Yom Kippur is. So, uh, when it says, ask the obvious question. Right? So, once they set out an Elul, right, for a Tishrei, why do they need it? So, the Elul. So, you know, if that whole thing is to know when. Rosh Hashanah is, and Rosh Hashanah, you just count basically 10 days after. Rosh Hashanah is one, so Yom Kippur is 10, right? It's day 10, and then, then Sukkot is day 15, right? So what's the confusion there? So the Chitim, maybe they're going to go ahead and make El Malay, right? They're going to make it uh, full, a leap month. Now it will be 30 days, and the 31st day will be Rosh Hashanah. From the days of Ezra and An, Loi Matzino El Muber. Right, and as we've never found that El has been full, El is always twenty nine days. So Gora says, "Lay matzina So the reason why we've never found it, we've never had it, is because they didn't they didn't require it. You know, they did the previous whatever previous uh, calculations they had to do before then in order to make sure that El was twenty nine. However, Ha'itzrich, but if they would need it for whatever reason, whether it comes to for for, for you know when the holidays would fall out, Ha'itzrich ma'avrinin late, they would be ma'avrinin. So the Gemara says, if that's the case, they would be Mahabirat. So then, Ha Mikilka Rosh Hashanah. If that's the case, if you're telling me Elul, they tell, when's Rosh Hashanah Elul? Because we're going to count the 30th day as Rosh Hashanah. But then we need to tell them when Rosh Hashanah was in order for the other ones. So that, because it, it, Elul might have been full. If Elul was full, so they wouldn't have known that when Elul started, right? So therefore, they would have been off a day. So Ha Mikilka Rosh Hashanah. So Muta Zikal Rosh Hashanah, Velay Zikal Kula Modos. Elul isn't helping for Rosh Hashanah, really. Right. Because it could have been Mavir. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Right. So the Gemara says, you know what? It says, Mutab Tikal Rosh Hashanah, Velay Tikal Kulumados. Yeah, and in Khadami. So Rosh Hashanah could be, they could be off a day. But it's better just to be off only Rosh Hashanah and not also, also Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, and Sukkot. So at least get those in. And Dikanami, Dikanami, Al Tishim, Bele Tikan Samodos, Shramino. It says over there, Tishim, because of Tikan Samodos, right, for the other holidays, right, for, for Yom Kippur and, 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 and Sukkot, and nothing to do with Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah was, you know, that's water under the bridge. Hopefully it was done at the right time, but if it, if, if it was, for whatever reason, 30 days El and not 29 days, then they would have observed the wrong day. Now, now we have the two days of Rosh Hashanah, right? So that, so therefore, it would it would go into the next day. Fine. He said also they sent out messengers on Kislev because of Hanukkah and uh, and Adar because of Purim. So if the year was a leap year, in other words, they would add an extra Elul, or an extra Adar, an Adar Rishon. We, we go out also on Adar Shani. Right? So, 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 so
because of Purim. They like time. Be a leap year until the middle of Adar, so that's why they wouldn't wait. They do it on both, as opposed to just waiting until Adar Shani. Um, so, so if it was the Yitzin Af Al Al Adar Shani, we bring a Purim, right? Like time. So it says, you know, it sounds like over here. Right. They already did the first one, and then they come in and do the second one. Now, so the Gemara says, so that it's not written. So even if they were Ma'abra the year, right, in Adar, they say, you know, we need another month. We're not going to do Purim this month. We're going to do the next month, right? So they, um, that's not written in our Mishnah. Like Tani Masnison. So do like Rebbe, it's not like Rebbe, Tanya, Rebbe Yomer, Im Nisara, Shana, Yates, and Afal, Al, Adar, Shani. If there was a Yor, if there was an extra month, then they would also go out and fire their Shani. We pray Hapurim because of Purim. So Leila Bahab Kamifligi, maybe this is Machlegas. The Mar, Sever Komis is on us, the Shani, you know, I guess the Risha. According to maybe our Mishnah, that if really you're supposed to do all that Mitzvahs of Adar, i.e., Purim, and all the, the Mitzvahs that belong with it during Adar, Shani. But if you do it in the first one, you're Yates. So therefore, the people in the other communities, right, they did it. They didn't know there was so, they're already yaitz the first time. We don't need to send messengers out for the second one because they're already fulfilled it the first time. Then no, the missions are required to do in the second one. If you're doing the first one, it doesn't count. So your answer is no, no, that's not true. Everyone holds that really the missions that apply in either Shani, either Mitzvah Purim can only be done in either Shani and not either Rishon. If you do either Rishon, you have to go ahead the next month and do it again. Over here, you're arguing as to how or how many days are in the Eber, or how many days uh, are added to Tanya. Always 30 days. We add 30 days in Adarisha. Adarisha is 30 days. He says, In other words, so the first opinion holds it is Shloshim um, Yom. Right, it's 30 days. And Chodesh, it means it's 29 days, right? So my Shnash Shloshim, why 30? Now, if you hold it's 30 days, so I know if there's Adar Shani, I know the first Adar was 30 days. And therefore, day 31 is Rosh Chodesh, and therefore my count continues, right? So there's no confusion there. So therefore, you don't need to send out messengers. So my Shnash Shloshim, the Yadi, Chodesh Nami Yadi. So if it's, if it's Chodesh, if it's 29 days, they also know every year, if there's two Adars, the first one's always 29, and then uh, very easily, I know the date of Purim. So I'm Papa, no. Uh, uh, so it says no. Uh, so so Amar Papa. So man, Amar Chodesh. What's a Chodesh? What's a Shloshim? No, that which it says Chodesh means either it's a month, either twenty nine or thirty. So it's Lab Davka the same every year. So therefore, according to that opinion, Rabbi, you would have to send out messengers to tell them how many days was the first other, so they know when Purim falls out. Nowadays, Shabbat and Adar always thirty. Thir- uh, thirty. Always thirty. Adar always thirty. Huh? Adar always thirty. Right. right. Other beds don't have other beds. No, remember, 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 so the name of the chasir navdina, malay and lavdina, to say that it's they're both chasir and they're not uh, a malay and they're not thirty full days in the thirty first days of Hashanah. So lafuke and lavdina lafuke medidarish rab nachem barichisa like to know what to exclude that which rab nachem barichisa tasvai edu rabbi simai b'shem rabbi chagas rabbi malachi al shnei adarim shim ratzel asoysim shnei malayim. If they want to go ahead and make them both adar as malay, they could oisin shnei chaserim oisin. Or if they want to go ahead and make them both chaser, or make one mali mali chaser, they can do it. And that's how they used to do it in the Gola. In other words, so it could be either one. Really, one is always mali and one is chaser. Really, one is always mali and one is chaser. Right? Unless they know that it was it was hukam bismano. So if it's never hukam bismano, then um, um, then they uh, they would make it. Um, the, 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 I guess if they would know, then either was done bismano that it was done on the thirtieth day. Then, um, all right, unless it was not it was bismano. That was, if it was seen, right, right. If it was seen and there was bismano, then it would do it chaser. Uh, Otherwise, it'd be one full one uh, one chaser. So shalchale lemar ufa adar samach lanisan liyelam chaser. The adar closest to nisan is always chaser. 
So Mesav Nachman al Shnei Chadash Mechalal Nisav Shabbos al Nisav Nal Tishrei. Two months were Mechalal Shabbos al Nisav Nal Tishrei. Via Marta Bishlam Zimnim Malay Zimnim Chaser Meshum Hachi Mechalim. And if you say it's sometimes Malay, sometimes Chaser, so that's the reason why we're Mechalal to go ahead and uh, in order to go ahead and testify about the new moon, right? But if it's always Chaser, so why do you need to go ahead and testify when Rosh Chodesh Nisan was? Right? If it's always chaser. So you still need to know when it is. Yeah, but it's but it's chaser. We know we're about no, to you right? we're about to know. Yeah. Right. You don't even know when when he said it's right. So Allah Iya Marta, right? Liyalam Khasir. Even if you say it's Liyalam Khasir, why we Michal? Am I Michalin? Mashum the mitz is like Kali Shalaria. Because there's still a mitz of the Mikali Shalaria. Right, there's still a mitzvah to go ahead and be to, to go ahead and testify and says, "Hey, we saw the new moon, and therefore at Rosh Chodesh is it's going to be chaser. It's going to be on day thirty, and since that's a mitzvah, therefore we're mechalal Shabbos for Nisan in order to for, for Pesach and Tishrei in order for the holidays of Sukkot and uh, Yom Kippur." All right, we'll uh, we'll stop here. That was amazing. Wow, that was fire. You got time to chaser.